So sometimes you have a method and you want to access that method from all the classes of your project. And for that, we can create utility classes that are static classes, all right? So I have a color here that will print something. I have it in the main camera and we are going to create an utility class, all right? In my case, I'm going to name it my math. And the first thing that we need to do is to mark this class as static. And static classes cannot be attached to an object, so it cannot inherit from mono behavior. A static basically means that it's going to exist for the whole project, all right? So if you were to have a static variable, like static int life, to represent the life of your character. If you were to change this uh, value from a class, it is going to change the value for all the classes that have access to this variable, all right? And this is also really useful, but not the point of this video. All right, we are going to define a method. In my case, I'm going to define a method to calculate the factorial of something. So I'm basically going to create public static method that is going to return a u long, which is basically a really big integer, and it's going to get a sand parameter a u long, and I'm going to implement the factorial with recursion. And if you want to learn what that means, you can search it. And I'm basically going to see to say that if value is equal to one, then I'm going to return one, else I'm going to return the value multiplied by the factorial of value minus one, All right? And this is my method. Of course, here you can create as many methods as you want, and you can create multiply uh, static classes. So I'm going to go to my color, and here I'm going to change this by my math. And as you can see, it is already here. I don't need to make an instance, nor an object, or anything like that. I can simply call it by the name, and it's there. I press dot, and here I have my static method. So I'm going to calculate the factorial of three. Let's see. And it is six, right? If you want to learn more about Unity, you can go to the link in the description. That is an article from my blog. That is a very special article. As here, I recompile all the interesting stuff, all the relevant stuff of Unity, and I try to explain it as simple as possible. So let's go to any random thing. And as you can see, you have code examples here. All is commented. And if you click the green links, you will have a link to the official documentation about that topic. All right. You can also come here and subscribe to the newsletter and I might post something there. All right. So if you like this video, please leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more of this content. If you have any ideas, you can also drop it in the comments and I will see you in the next video.